This is somebody that achieved a lot really early in their career. They had a lot of financial success. They knew exactly what they wanted to do. They knew what they wanted to do, they did it, and it was really successful. And they had many multiples of the income they ever thought they would have. And they had, they had the whole thing. They had the, they had the house, nice house. They had financial security. They could travel anywhere in the world they wanted. And they were really just on a, on a track. If they would have just, you know, if they would just keep going, you do whatever you want. You wouldn't have to worry about money ever again. And who doesn't want that? Who doesn't want to not have to worry about money ever again? I think we would all be like, yeah, like that sounds really nice. But yet something was missing. They had everything they wanted, but yet they didn't. They had succeeded in every single way, but yet they failed. That's me. That was me. I had an amazing career. I did commercial real estate, and my job was to manage billion dollar portfolios and I would go, my clients were in, in Europe in the Middle East and so I'd go to the Middle East and we'd fly first class and some of the best hotels, best restaurants in the world and my job was to go meet with these investors, royal families and some of these pension funds and, and my job was to build relationships and it was fun. I loved it. I loved what I got to do. I loved the people I got to meet but yet there was something. like That wasn't really what I wanted. And I had everybody around me telling me, Travis, you succeeded. You made it. But yet, I kind of felt like a failure. And I was embarrassed by it. I was embarrassed by that. I was like, how can I feel like a failure when I've done everything I thought I was going to do? What's the gap? And so at the age of 38, I took this crazy step and I left that career. I left that career I had uh, twin three-year-olds at the time and a wife that stays at home, so I was the only income in the family, and I took a 90% pay cut. And that was really scary. That was really scary. But I believe in this idea so much that my wife, and my wife was probably pushing me. People say, well, what did your wife think? Like, your wife's going to leave you. <laughs> no, my wife was pushing me to do this because she knew too. She knew. And she wanted this for us. And so we sold our house, we changed our lifestyle, and we decided we're going to live a different life with a new definition of success. And so we did. And I can tell you, these last four years, that was four years ago, these last four years have been four of the hardest years of my life. I don't want to sugarcoat that. But they've been four of the best years of my life. It's so good. And so here was my list. I'll tell you my list. I told you Katie's list. I outed Katie. I'll out my list. For me, I wanted to wake up every single day excited for what I got to do. Not because it was fun, but because it mattered. I wanted to make a profound impact on people's lives. I just felt that. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to financially earn the right this month to serve people again next month. And when you're a business owner, sometimes it feels that way. Sometimes it feels like, I'm just trying to make enough to pay the bills this month, and then next month, I'll worry about next month. That's what I wanted. I just wanted to know that I'm earning the right to serve those who I wish to serve. I wanted to be more present for my wife and kids. I had this moment where I remember I got back from a trip from the Middle East, and I was bragging to my wife about how present I was with my family. Sarah, look how much balance I have. And she looked at me, just dead-eyed, and I thought, oh. And she said, you're here, but you're not here. Oof, that was painful. I wasn't present. I might have been physically present, but I was like somewhere up here. I wasn't fully present for them, and I wanted to be present for my family. I wanted to have more flexibility in my life because I help run an organization in Southeast um, Asia, and I wanted to be able to just pick up and take my family and just go to Asia for two months and go do the work and serve the people that I serve in Asia. And I had to leave that career if I really wanted that. If that's a definition of success, I had to do that. And lastly, and this one's probably the most important, I wanted to model to my little boys, who are now six, I wanted to model to my two little boys what it looks like to relentlessly pursue meaning and purpose in our life. 
I wanted them to see that firsthand. I did. I wanted them to see that. Now, I am not advocating everybody leave today and go take a 90% pay cut. I hope you don't. I hope you don't have to. That was my cost. That was my cost to entry to be able to do what I did to feel successful. And so here's what, here's what I'm advocating for. I'm advocating for the relentless pursuit of meaning in your life, whatever that looks like. Because your list is different than my list. Some of the items I said that were on my list might have resonated with you, and some of them might have sounded foolish. And that's OK, because your list is different than my list. And in the world's eyes, including some of my family members, I threw my success right out the window. And even to this day, four years later, I wake up some days thinking, am I crazy? Like, did, am I, did I do the right thing? And then I quickly realize, yes. Yes, yes, I did. And so ultimately, I left the world's version of success, but I feel successful today.